We launched Social at Ogilvy in February of 2012. It's the world's largest network of social media strategists based in Ogilvy offices throughout the world. We believe in three things at Social at Ogilvy. Number one, that social media must be part of an integrated solution for clients. It should not be standalone. Number two, Social media itself is a global medium, and so that really demands a global network to be able to service it effectively. And number three, social media should deliver business value to our clients. There's over 550 of us around the world within Ogilvy offices, really working to drive integrated social media. So that means wherever our clients come to us looking for social media capabilities, whether that's in Ogilvy Public Relations, within Ogilvy One, Ogilvy and Made the Advertising, we're helping support that need with specialists who have the deep vertical area of expertise, but also a, an understanding of, of social media and how we at Ogilvy work in the medium. My role is to lead the social at Ogilvy practice within Ogilvy PR, working with an 18 strong team here in the New York office. My day to day is really about advising our senior clients on strategies and implementations, working with my team to ensure they've got the resources and support they need to be executing on social media activations on a daily basis, really looking at what's next for us, so business planning, um, looking at new business, and really thinking about how the practice can continue to evolve. Um, another important part of this is really training. We value training very highly here at Ogilvy, particularly when it comes to the, the social space, because uh, we really believe in developing talent in the different divisions so we can benefit from the knowledge that already exists. So my role really does entail setting up training programs with teams throughout the company, throughout the agency, um, and helping them learn about social and how we practice social media at Ogilvy to ensure a consistent set of standards um, and best practice social throughout the operating companies here. Social media has really dramatically changed how media works in, in many ways. First of all, it's an always-on medium, and it's, it's truly global. So the, the newsroom really has become a much bigger place. Um, I think it's also changed um, how media work in, in three ways. First of all, it's changed how media gather information. It cha it's changed how they report the news, and it's also changed how it's shared. So good reporters I know actually set up searches on platforms like Twitter to look for specific phrases that will let them know news is, is taking place. So for example, in the Middle East, looking around the times of all the protests, there were certain keywords that alerted reporters like Andy Carvin, who is one of the, the real leaders in this space, to know that something was happening and that um, they were, could investigate further. Second, if you look at how news is actually being reported, uh, reporters are really using social media to get input onto stories they're developing. The Guardian newspaper in the UK set up a really interesting experiment to, to put out all the articles they were working on and then inviting PRs and other sources to input via Twitter uh, with the journalists who are actually spearheading the development of the stories. It's all part of the Guardian's open journalism ethos, so they, they understand that their journalists aren't the only ones with information on stories and they really look to the social web to to generate that information. And then the third piece, which I think is really key, it's about how we share and obtain information. So news outlets understand that we go to our social platforms to get our news and information from our close friends and family. So they know that they need to be there with their stories. It's interesting, I actually learned that Marissa Meyer was leaving Google to go to Yahoo via Facebook from the news feeds of my friends. So I think it's interesting how we consume news. That's how news outlets understand that they too need to be there in our news feeds and really um, feeding that, that real time element. I think it's really interesting when people ask this question and I think we should take a step back and look at the bigger picture because everything is changing. From the way in which we read books, no longer do we read a print copy but we, we read books on an electronic, an e-reader or on our iPads. From how we take photographs, we don't use a specific camera, we use our always on smartphone that we keep with us at all times. Um, how we drive, no longer do we use maps, we look to crowdsourced um, route finders such as Waze, uh, it's a, a crowdsourced map that means that people can see where police are actually um, 
patrolling the, the roads from how we get recommendations for restaurants, we use tools like Yelp and many more things to show that the world we once knew has really changed. So when we think about what's the next big thing, um, we need to keep that in mind and think about the web and how that has changed. It's no longer just a text-based medium, it's really what we're calling the visual web. So that when we look at communities and how they're gathering, they're gathering around images and um, image-based content. So, you know, look at how Pinterest has become actually quite commonplace now. Think about Instagram, which has really shot up in terms of user numbers. And that's not just the, the result of Facebook actually purchasing the platform. It's because people love to share content that's in image format. And we're looking now at influentials who are influential in the, in, on the Instagram community and how we can work with them. So I think it's really a shift in, in mindset to thinking about the visual web and how people are sharing that type of content and ensuring that we integrate that into all the programs that we're working on with our clients. As with communications, a good communications program is one that's truly integrated into all all parts of the marketing mix for a client. Social media is exactly the same. In fact, it's the way in which we as humans have always interacted with each other. When you look at the actual science of behavior, uh, it's just on a different platform. And social media does not work well when left out in the cold or added at the last minute. And I actually believe that in a few years time, we won't even be talking about social media. It will just be a part of the mix and expected. If you look at um, the next generation, they're already using social media like it's a natural medium and it's not a, a, a standalone part of their day. And I think that we need to continue to think of, of social media as an important and integrated part of communications and not to see it as a standalone platform.